cool. You can see him flashing coming up. Oh, nice one. Look at that guy. Oh, man. Couldn't get no fish head. Nick here. It is January 26th. I'm here uh, in an area real close to Sturgeon Bay. Um, just going offshore a little ways. We're going to be fishing shallow water for whitefish. Uh, I'm, my, I'm waiting right now for my good buddy, Scrapper John, uh, one of my salmon fishing buddies and a uh, longtime friend. Um, we're going to be, uh, like I said, going shallow water for whitefish. It, uh, you know, it was 20 below zero this morning and, and it warmed up. Uh, I slept in a little bit and ate a big breakfast at the hotel. Uh, it's actually uh, warmed up to negative 11, so uh, it should be a fun adventure once I get in a shack. The hard part is just getting out there, but we're only going a couple hundred yards offshore, and uh, Scrapper was here earlier this week, so um, he, he, the, he already checked the ice. Uh, we're on a safe spot. Be careful. You know, uh, Scrapper did check this before the snow hit, so uh, he, 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 he knew where to go. So... Uh, Last night I did try out right in Sturgeon Bay a little bit. I had like an hour of fishing before dark and I wound up catching a two smelt and a little walleye and that was right in the bay. Um, but that was that was fun. Um, I'm not going to show any video of that. But all right, uh, RK, I'm going to go out and give her hell. Just met up with Scrap, my good buddy Scrapper, John. He's got his uh, elevated sled. That thing's pretty awesome. Check that out. Little ingenuity. Oh, yeah. You ready to kick some tail? I'm hoping so. We're freezing our butts off, so we better. Yeah, <laughs> let's hope it's worthwhile. But uh, this shallow water fishing is tricky, especially when it's bright out. Sometimes the fish don't come in. Well, and it's it's making ice. Let's go give her hell. Rock on. Okay, uh, first spot. We uh, got 20 feet deep here. Uh, Scrapper says that there's there's uh it should be rubble on the bottom. I'll put the aqua view down to make sure, and uh, we'll, uh, well, let's see. So, there's like uh, seven, eight inches of ice where we're at. And uh, actually, we're picking spots that are flat because uh, there's a lot of jagged, there's a lot of jagged stuff. So, we're just finding spots that are actually fishable. Most comfortable right now. Most Okay, let's send the camera down and see what we have. First one just came in. He's checking it out. I was using this uh, cast master with and jigging aggressively to bring him in, and it worked. He came in from out deep. So he's trying to scope it out. I do have a Kobe imitator on another rod, but right now he's on this so. I can get it to go. Yeah, I raised it up. Maybe I'll go after it. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that Gobi imitator real quick. bass guys are going to know what this is. The bass fishermen out there. This is a Ned Rig jig. And I have some plastics I'm going to use. I want to try. And I saw another YouTuber uh, using, using these and I think he even somebody 
somebody, either a subscriber or a YouTuber, recommended me trying these out. They're called uh, the drifters. So, and if I set the hook, so I ordered some late last season, and now I actually get to try them. They smell like they're, you know, they they smell garlicky. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how they, how the whitefish like them. I figured the Ned rig hook would work with these guys, so I'm gonna send it halfway through that the drifter. Okay, there we go. I want this jig to kind of stand up, so I'll put the knot back. All right, let's try the drifter. Thing has a lot of action. Kind of cool looking. In this case, the drifter did not work. I tried it for quite a while, and uh, I couldn't get any fish to come in on it, so it might have had too much garlic scent. I'm not sure. I'll try it again uh, when I fish out in deeper water or for trout in the future. So, uh, But for now, I'm putting it away and bringing out the Cast Master again. Okay, I've been doing... I went back to the Cast Master... I tried the tungsten jig. Um, there's just not a lot around. Uh, the scrapper's in closer, and he has two on the ice, so uh, he's definitely doing better than I am. So I might have to move in shallower, just uh, because there's just not a, not much around down there. Oh, there comes one. Just saw one. Okay, there was actually two fish here, and he kept checking it out, checking it out. He even bit at the top of the, the cast master, but he wasn't biting at the hook. So after a while, I wound up actually uh, pulling it out and uh, dropping down my tungsten jig. Okay, I did drop my tungsten jig with two wax worms on down to the bottom. It took a couple minutes for him to lock in on it, but once I did, he bit at it a couple times. I missed him on the first bite, and I do get him here on the second bite, which was awesome to get my first fish on. Got him this time. Got him. Boy, that's a big fish, too. What the heck's wrong with my reel? The drag's not working good. It froze up. Something's wrong with my reel. Oh, shit. I got the line on the side. One thing I don't like about this reel, sometimes it does this. No, oh, he's still on there, good. <sighs> Tighten up my drag, there we go. Alright, I had a real malfunction. Oh, that's a nice one too. I forgot my good grabbers. Oh, these fuck, these suckers are slimy. All right, here's a nice one. Sweet. <laughs> it was a challenge. My line got tangled up on my reel. Let's shut the heater off so we don't burn anything. <clears throat> I'm gonna give him a quick little whack on the head. Okay, I set up my little uh, fishing my fish well in the shack right next to me. I'm gonna gill this guy and send him down the 
down the hole and I'm hoping the blood will bring in more fish around you know so I gotta pull out some gills break out some gills I already gave the fish a whack so he's kind of stunned but now he's down I put him down in the fish well there we go you're dealing with uh, whitefish, you definitely get slimed up. Ah, cool. Skunk is out. <clears throat> Little update. Um, it's been pretty slow. You know, fish comes in now and then and looks and but uh, Scrapper, I believe, has four. So let's go check. Let's go check out Scrappers. And plus, in this really cold weather, I gotta um, I gotta clear my camera hole a lot because uh, the camera cord keeps getting frozen in tight, and I don't want it to, the ice to. Um, I don't. I want to be able to get it out. So uh, let's go. Let's go free up the camera cord and go check up on Scrapper. By Wega Star Dairy. They make some awesome uh, sausage sticks. Uh, there's like a hint of pickle juice in them. They're just uh, really good. Like good and bloody Mary's. And um, Anyway, I really, anytime I go by Wyawiga, I pick up uh, these sausage sticks or beef sticks. And then also um, their string cheese is, is the best I've ever had. So if you ever go by Wyawiga, stop in to the Star Dairy. Get their beef sticks and some of their uh, some of their string cheese, which is crazy good. Okay, let's go uh, share some of these with the scrapper. Holy cow! She's making ice today, boys and girls. And made about a half an inch since we've been here. And this is the third time this hole's been cleaned out. <laughs> hey, buddy. Whew. How you doing? Oh yeah, you got some nice ones. A couple of now. dandies. All right. Yeah, freaking! All of a sudden, it just turned on and shit went nuts. Yeah. Oops. No, that's all right. <laughs> yeah. Ain't too bad. Yeah, it um. All of a sudden, things just went crazy, and all of a sudden, they come in and they're hitting really hard and fast and. Cool. Yeah, I mean, All right. better than when we first got here. Yeah, I uh, I might have to move in shallow or two or do something because, well, they they do show up every now and then, but it's been a while. So, what uh, what kind of depth do you have here? Oh, you don't. You're just sight fishing them, or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I keep cool. my um. That's my tungsten jig on the left. Yeah. And then my jig and rappel on the right. And I just actually what I do is I hold the rod. Like this, it's a lot easier to watch down the hole, and then I just go like this and just keep pounding the heck out of the bottom. Yeah, and all of a sudden they'll come in, and sometimes they'll be jigging up like this, getting ready to dive, and they'll smoke it. Oh, cool! Yeah, all right, no skill. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you're kicking my tail, so Freaking skill. all right, it looks That's like nice for the sausage. yeah, you want another one? I got a lot, well, maybe one more. Yeah, this is our lunch. I gotta have a beer too if you want a beer. No, nah, I can't do beer yet. <laughs> I only brought two. I'll Okay. Later on. Okay. This is where uh, I had multiple lookers come in and uh, that would not hit. And I don't want to bore everybody, so uh, so I'm not going to show a lot of it. But finally, I had this one coming in on bottom. If you look at the bottom of the screen. He was interested in the tungsten jig and he actually grabbed her. So, fish on. Got him. All right. Not a very big one, but I'm still going to keep him. He'll make a little fish stick. Number two. Actually, you know what? He is pretty small. I changed my mind. We are going to let this guy go. 
I'm gonna set up the standard whitefish rig. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a um, jig and wrap on the bottom up about 15 inches. I'm gonna put a swivel with a hook for and and that's kind of the the normal rig that we'd use out deep. And that's what I'm gonna set up. Okay, I have a modified puppet minnow looking uh, like a jig and rampler style. I got a piece of gulp on the nose and I broke off the plastic on the rear, took off the center hook and that's going to be the weighted part and then I got a little floater set up with just a wax worm for the upper part. So that's these rigs work really good out deep. Let's see if they work in the shallows. Should, based on what I saw today, it should work. Okay, there's one down there. Oh, he hit the puppet minnow. He hit the puppet minnow and I missed him. Let's see if he goes back and grabs it. Uh, he, he bumped my fishing line. He didn't like that. He's coming back. Come on, buddy. Got him. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. You can see him flashing coming up. Oh, nice one. Look at that guy. Oh, man. Couldn't get his head around. I lost him at the hole. I even took the center hook off. So I wouldn't catch that the center hook, you know um, Inland lakes a lot of people break off the outer hooks because most of the fish come on the center well for whitefish They grab on the ends And that's usually where I catch them and so I take that center hook off That, that was cool. That's the first time I've I seen a northern out here. That was a northern pike that just came up Maybe he smells the, the blood from my one in the live well. Fish down there. I took the camera out so there's no more. There's no more camera view. So I'm just going off my hummingbird now. Okay, everyone down there checking it out. I'm gonna. Who? He's checking out the. There we go. He hit the slider rig. Cool. Cool, it's been dead. I was just talking to Scrapper on the phone on how dead it was been. Oh, look at this guy. Nice one. Perfect eater. Sweet. Long in between bites. Hope maybe this is the change that we needed. It's getting later in the afternoon. Maybe the bite will pick up. getting slippery in here I'll put them in my, my little bag aggressive fish that was awesome he was he meant business hopefully we can get some more like that that's a bad thing about shallow water whitefish. Um, it's it's a it's tougher to catch them in the shallows than like when you go out on a big reef. Uh, that's at least my experience has been that way. But then again, you know, I like to use cameras, and these fish are camera shy. So so right now the cameras are in, and I'm trying to catch them just with my hummingbird, and that worked out well.
There we go. <laughs> cool. All right. All right, keep them up, keep them up. All right, transducer's out. Ooh, looks like a nice one. Shut off the heater. Okay, he's in the... There we go. Sweet. <laughs> All right, nice one. Awesome. Slide them in the in the fish bag and try to get another one. Cool. The fishing's been getting uh, more consistent here. It was this was after 3 p.m. and. Maybe it's because I brought up the, ca the underwater camera. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because of the blood from gilling the fish that's in my little uh, dead well bag. I'm not sure either. But either way, I was happy because I was on them and they were biting. Let's catch some more. It's starting to get fun. They're coming fast and furious now while I was trying to charge my phone or uh, my camera. I put two of them in the bag. There we go. Once I felt a little pressure, I stuck them. Man, this is getting to be pretty fun. Went for the rear hook on the little deal. I had two wax worms on that rear hook. And I took, I broke off the plastic. So, all right. My ringtone. Okay, there's one down there. Here we go. Oh, cool. Now, I gotta pull my. I got. Try to get it past my sight camera. I better shut off my heater. Oh, oh he was hooked on ice. I better get that camera out of there. There we go. I <laughs> got him in. If I can catch one here, I'll call her a day. Here he comes back. Here we go. All right. All right, this is gonna be it. Last one, little guy. Uh, cool. Do a count and see what we got. Plus my two smelt. Okay, cool. Got eight, eight nice white fish and two smelt from yesterday. <laughs> cool. That's a heavy bag of fish. Be eating good for a while. And people that say white fish uh, don't taste good, I don't know what's wrong with them because I can microwave these. I, you know, I bled them out. I don't let them freeze. They're oily fish. Like, you know, like a salmon, and um, they're great fresh. Uh, you can take the fillets, like I said, and put them on, uh, you know, you skin them, and you put them on a, on a plate. You can microwave them with just butter and spices, and they're freaking awesome. So, they're awesome eating. I think people just, because they're kind of really stinky and slimy on the outside, 
but once you clean them you get beautiful fillets and yeah they're awesome so all right i'm wrapping up shop cool what a nice day all right that's the adventure um well look at there's more fish down there i could get a limit if i stuck it out i uh, i guarantee i could get a limit but that's right i got eight fish that's enough for me and my wife time to go